Question number 18. Part A. The length of a, the length of each side of a equilateral triangle ABC is 10 cm. Calculate the area of triangle of the triangle correct to two decimal places. Now, what you need to ask yourself, how many methods of solving the area of a triangle do you know? We have three. Uh, one of them is before that, then we ask, uh, before we look at the method, what is an, uh, an equilateral triangle? An equilateral triangle is a triangle whose sides are equal, whose three sides are equal. So this is 10, this is 10 centimeter, centimeter, and this is 10. Another thing we know about the uh, equilateral triangle is the angles are 60. Each angle is 60. Uh, this is 60 and also this is 60 degrees. So this is an equilateral triangle. So one of the methods that we know of finding the area of a triangle is a half base times height. The simplest. Half base times height. That is you find the area. Uh, let's uh, write that. The one of the method is a half area is equals to a half base times height. But here we don't have the height, although we can calculate it. So, but uh, let's look at the other method. The other method is uh, area is equals to, uh, we say, a half AB sine theta. So, a, B means two sides the, and the inclusive angle, for example, 10 and 10. Uh, the other one that we know is uh, the one we say area is equal to the square root of uh, S, uh, S minus A, uh, S minus B, and S and S minus C. So that's a, a formula. So with those three, uh, even this one we can use because we have the 10 sides. Uh, but the easiest or the, the best method is a half a b sine theta. Uh, so this is the best method to calculate the area of this triangle. So we say area is equal to uh, a half multiplied by a b. Because the sides are equal, we have 10 multiplied by 10. You multiply by the sign of 60 and uh, you use your calculator to do that so this is uh, this is we can simplify here by 2 is 1 by 2 is 5 so it is 5 times 10 times the sign of 60 that uh, is, uh, 5 multiplied by uh, by 10 multiplied by the sign of 60 my calculator is giving me uh, 43, uh, that is 43.3 uh, point 0.3012. But because we are told to two decimal places, uh, we say 3, then, uh, then 0, the next number is 1. So that is, uh, we say it is 43.30 uh, because the next number is less than 5 uh, centimeters square. That is the area. So that's how you uh, you get that the, that area of that. Uh, alternatively, you can use the, 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 the third method and say your S is equal to a half uh, the, the sum of the three sides plus 10 uh, plus 10. That is equal to, uh, that will give you 15. So area is equal to, uh, we say it is uh, the square root of uh, we say it is 15 uh, this is 15 minus 10 uh, you repeat 15 minus 10 because all the sides are equal and 15 minus 10 so you find this is equals to the square root of 15 times this is 5 times 5 times 5 and if you get that that is 15 times 5 times 5 times 5 you get uh, that, uh, 1875, you get, you get the, you get the, the square root, uh, that should give you, uh, you get the square root of that, so you say, 
the square root of the answer that should that is giving me the same uh, it is equals to 43.30 centimeter squared but the best method you can see here you there are several steps and in mathematics you try to use uh, the quickest method that uh, correct uh, but quick method to get you to the to arrive you to the answer so this is what i recommend you use that method this is just to show you how that you can also even if you use this method you still get the mark but you see now you would have taken more time than compared to the this, this other method we look at part b of the question uh, triangle ABC in 18A uh, forms a base of a rectangular, uh, as a solid triangular pyramid VABC. The pe perpendicular height of the pyramid is 15. Calculate the volume of the uh, pyramid. So the triangle is used to to make a, a pyramid. Like the, you can say, it, it looks like this. That's a pyramid, triangular base pyramid. The height from here, uh, from here to the here, we are given it is 15. We are supposed to find the volume. The volume of, uh, of a pyramid, the volume, uh, we say volume is equal to a third, uh, a third base area times height. Uh, and we already uh, so we, we already have the base area which we have calculated in A. 43.30 centimeter squared so you say it is uh, this is a base area times height so it is the third multiplied by uh, base area is 43.30 uh, you multiply by the height which is 15 uh, so that when uh, that you should be able to get uh, now you can use your calculator again uh, so you say uh, one that you multiply by 43.3 multiply by 15 and that is giving me 216 216.5 uh, and that is a centimeter cube because we are talking of volume uh, there again you get two marks one mark here and one mark for that uh, so you should be able to get the method mark and answer mark there uh, here you should be able to get the method mark here and answer mark here uh, when you use this you get the method mark here and the answer mark there we look at part C of this question uh -huh. The pyramid VAB is in 18B above is recast into a cone of base radius 3.5 cm. Calculate correct to two decimal places the height of the cone. So this then it was remodeled uh, to a cone. A cone is like this. You look at, uh, let's do that again. So you see, this is a cone. Uh, what it means is that uh, the material that was used to make the pyramid was later you was then remodeled uh, and to make a cone uh, the cone that has a radius of 3.5 centimeter now we are required to find the height uh, we know to get the, the the volume of the pyramid is the same as the volume of the cone because the same material was used so therefore we, we normally say well, we use a, we use a, uh, we use a, we use a we, we use a method volume is equals to of a cone it is base area multiplied by height so this is equals to implies that uh, the, the at that you multiply by since we are given the radius uh, the area of the base of the cone is pi r squared so it is 22 over 7 a pi r squared so multiplied by 3.5 multiplied by 3.5 uh, 3.5 3. that is base area and you multiply by the height which we are supposed to get and that should that volume is the same as the volume of the of the material that was had made the 
the pyramid, the triangular base pyramid. So this is 216.5 uh, centimeter cube. Now we can make uh, we can make h, h the subject. So we say it is 216. Uh, let's use a, a different color so that you can be able to see it clearly. Uh, height we make it the subject. It is equal to 216.5. You multiply by 7, multiply by 3, and you divide by uh, 22, multiply by 3.5 multiply by 3.5 and uh, that is going to give you the height uh, you can use your calculator uh, to do that uh, so you say it is 216.5 you multiply by 7 by by that is a uh, multiply by 7 you multiply by 3 is equals to uh, you divide by 22 you get that divide again by uh, 3.5 you get that divide again by 3.5 you get that you'll be able to get i'm getting 16.87 so you, i'm getting is equals to 16.8701 so to two decimal places it is 16.87 uh, centimeter so that is the uh, that is the height of the cone. The height of the cone is equals to uh, 16.87 16.87 uh, centimeter. So you'll be able to get two marks. So you'll be able to get a mark here, a mark, a method mark for uh, equating the volume of the cone and the volume of the pyramid and then you should be able to get the answer mark. Lastly, the surface area uh how do you get the surface area of a cone we said the surface area of a cone is equal to pi r squared that is the, the area of the base you add to the area of the curved part which is pi r l uh, so which we can write uh, uh, we write pi r into bracket r uh, plus l uh, if you can simplify it like that. So this means that uh, we can say uh, pi is 22 over 7. The radius of the cone is 3.5, right? Uh, the radius of the cone is 3.5. Uh, the radius of the... The radius is 3.5, you add. Now, before we now continue, we need to find the, the, the slanting side, which is our L. Uh, so we can we can uh, get the <coughs> the trans uh, the 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 this is the cone so this is the height this is the l and this is the radius so what do we have uh, we have the we already have the <coughs> uh, we have the height of the cone is sixteen point uh, eight seven we have the radius of is three point five. So we can be able to get the height. Uh, the height is equals to. Let me use uh, this color here. Uh, height is equals to uh, the square root of uh, three point five squared uh, plus sixteen point eight seven. Uh, when you compute that using your calculator, uh, then you should be able to get uh, three point five uh, squared. Uh, plus 16.87 uh, uh, squared that should give you that then you get the square root uh, then you get uh, inverse uh, the square uh, we get this not actually inverse the square root of the answer you get it is you, we are, I'm getting uh, 17.229 so it is 17. Point uh, two three so this means that we can now come here back to a question and we say it is 17.23 that is uh, the length uh, again you use your calculator you should be able to get uh, let's uh, okay let's say 3.5 you you add to 17.23 
right you get the answer there then you multiply by 3.5 you get that you multiply by 22 you get that and you divide by 7 and I'm getting uh, I'm getting 228 point uh, 228.0 uh, I'm getting 0 0.03 uh, so that is the answer to that question uh, point zero three. Uh, yeah that is the answer to that question uh, so you should be able to get four marks then you should be able to get four marks for identifying the identifying the the the, the, the identifying the, the the height of the cone uh, applying the formula uh, actually working out that and then you should be able to get uh, one mark for the answer so that's how you answer that question so you can see there are variety of concept uh, being uh, tested here uh, the first one you see you need to know the 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 how the formula for finding the area of a triangle that is very important and you know we have three methods uh, half base times height we have a half a b sin theta and we have the one that we have here that is a uh, he, i think it uh, we call it heroes formula where you use s part b of the question you are being tested do you know how to find uh the the volume of a pyramid if you don't know how to find you have been given the height here the area of the of the pyramid is the area of the triangle we have used so if you don't know how to find the volume or you don't know the formula of finding the volume of a pyramid then obviously you will be able to you'll be able to fail uh, so uh, the volume the, here this this formula is very important a volume of a pyramid is a half base area times height which we have applied here again the same concept is repeated here uh, uh, you since you have been given the the radius of the cone and you the same material is used to make a cone uh, then do you know the formula of finding the volume of a cone which you should be able to equate to equate in part uh, b uh, which i have applied here the formula for finding the volume of a of a pyramid a pyramid is a form of a we can it's a circular based uh, pyramid uh, so you should be able to uh, it is a third base area times height then we equate the volume the same material is used to to do that uh, then again lastly here part C Roman number two you are being tested whether you know how to find the for the surface area of a cone do you know the formula if you don't know this formula then it means you cannot be able to solve that uh, although this formula I think is in the mathematical tables but you also need to remember that to check there if you in case you forget so that way if you do it like this then you should be able to get 10 marks uh, which has a maximum na m max you should be you can score in these questions in part B uh, which is 10 marks